talk Let's have conversations in the dark World is sleeping, I'm awake with you With you Watch movies that we both already seen I ain't even looking at the screen, it's true I've got my eyes on you And you say that you're not worthy You get hung up on your flaws But in my eyes you are perfect as you are I will never try to change you, change you I will always want the same you, same you Swear on everything I pray to That I won't break your heart I'll be there when you get lonely, lonely Keep the secrets that you told me, told me And your love is all you owe me And I won't break your heart On Sunday mornings we sleep until noon Well, I could sleep forever next to you Next to you And we We got places we both gotta be But there ain't nothing I would rather do Than blow up all my plans for you And you say that you're not worthy And get hung up on your flaws But in my eyes you are perfect As you are, as you are I will never try to change you, change you I will always want the same you, same you Swear on everything I pray to That I won't break your heart I'll be there when you get lonely, lonely Keep the secrets that you told me, told me And your days, it seems so hard My darling, you should know this My love is everywhere you are I will never try to change you, change you I will always want the same you, same you Swear on everything I pray to
sunrise. I love you, wife to be. This is our day, and I hope you enjoy this day even more, knowing that you have a man who is willing to do almost anything for you. The G Worker is part of the almost. LOL. Love you, Nate. <laughs> You're my water when I'm stuck in the desert You're the talent all I take when my head hurts You're the sunshine of my life I just wanna see how beautiful you are You know that I see it I know you're a star Where you go I'll follow Life is a movie, and you're the best part. Oh, you're the best part. Oh, best part. If you love me, won't you say something? If you love me, won't you? Won't you? If you love me, won't you say something? If you love me, won't you? If you love me, won't you say something? If you love me, won't you? Ah, if you love me, won't you say something? If you love me, won't you? Love me, won't you? If you love me, won't you say something?
God of praise. I want to honor God for this occasion. Call to worship. Uh, my name is Pastor Solomon Chilopley Tubati from the Greater Refuge Tabernacle Ministry International. And I have with me Father Reverend Vernal Savage. I'm here from Christ Church, Christ the King Episcopal Church in Willingboro, New Jersey. And I'm privileged to be here. Call to worship. We are gathered here today to worship God and to witness a marriage vow of Brother Nathan Ribas and Sis Munamu. For the Bible let us to know in the book of Luke, say, let your light so shine before people that they may see your good works and glorify your Father who is in heaven. At this time, we now ask Pastor Savage to do an invocation. Pastor Savage, God bless. Let us pray. Living triune God, for grace we come. May this sermon be pleasing in your sight as your miracle of bringing one human being to another become one. And bring us to your eternal blessings. All this I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Who will give this woman to be married to this man? I do, Mr. Moore. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. You can have your seat, please. After I read this, all you need to do is, I will. Nathan Rabbits, will you take Munan Mu to be your wedded wife, to live together? after God ordinates in the holy ecstasy of matrimony will you love her comfort her honor her keep her in sickness and in health and forsaking all others keep yourself wounded unto her so long as you both shall live please respond I will I will. I will. Now to Sismuna. 
munan mu will you take your husband to live together after God ordinance in the holy exit of matrimony will you love him comfort him honor him keep him in sickness in health and forsaking all others keep yourself only unto him so long as you both shall live please respond but i will i will Let us put our hands together. I'll be reading from the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 13. And I'll commence from verse 4 to 8. 1 Corinthians chapter 13, from 4 to 8. Love is patient and calm. Love not jealous, it does not break, it is not proud. Love is not rude, it is not selfish, and it cannot be made angry easily. Love does not remember wrongs, do against it. Love is never happy when others do wrong, but it is always happy with the truth. Love never gives up on people. It never stopped trusting, never lost hope, and never quits. Love will never end, but all these gifts will come to our end. Even the gifts of prophecies, the gift of speaking in different kinds of tongues, and the gift of knowledge, thou says the Lord. Uh, just a brief homily in response to that reading. Uh, first of all, I'm overjoyed to be present with Nathan and Mona. Um, it's a joy for me. But most importantly, my role as the priest in charge at Christ the King Episcopal Church. I'm representing that church. It was so important that I had to be here. Right, sir? And I'm here. Mona was helpful. Mona said 345. <laughs> I read you 355. Um, but what, what came out in my conversations with them is the love that flow between them. And I know he chose a wonderful woman. Because within the short conversation, she pick up fast, right? <laughs> she learned fast and very pragmatic. And I'm, I'm, I'm awed by the fact that they have made this public commitment of marriage. The second point I want to raise is last night. Thank you. Thank you. You know what you guys did? Thousands of years of expectation and love. And you guys, yeah, you're going fall in love. I know that. I, I'm not taken away from that. But the families... They had a chance to be a part of it and your ancestors. So this is awesome. And thirdly, I'm always there for you. The church is always there for you. So I, Vernon Savage, but as well the church as with um, Pastor Solomon and myself, we are committed to that. I think that is brief enough. You're welcome. Very brief. Uh, at this time, that was the exhortation. We want to bless God for that. Let us put our hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah. We can do better than that. Hallelujah. Uh, basically, what we usually do, we do the vows. But at this time, they have their own vows. So they will be uh, doing the vow to each other. The most important thing in marriage is the vow. Everything here is just formality, but as long as turn and they stick with the vows, they're going to go a long way. Hallelujah. So we ask that you please listen as they give the vows to each other. God bless you. you want to go? My dearest Nathan, Ransford Roberts, 
You came into my life exactly the right time. It may not have been the right time in my eyes, but it was the perfect timing in the sight of God. Without any doubt, I can freely say you are a gift from God for me. Interestingly, your name Nathan means God's gift, God has given. Because God is so faithful, I have, he has blessed me with his own very precious gift. I must say, God sure did deliver this handsome dark chocolate just for me. <laughs> you captured my heart in ways I did not know it could be captured. Thank you, thank you for showing me what genuine love is. I cannot thank you enough for the countless art of kindness and care you have shown me. I am so grateful to God because it seemed like he knew what I needed when he created you. You compliment me in every way. I look forward to where we are headed to because through it all, God has given us victory over every test we have had together. As we prepare to become one, I am so full of overflowing, beautiful emotions, knowing how much God favor us. As we stand before God, family, and friends, I vow to love, honor, and respect you. I vow to be a wife that brings peace into your home or our home. Amen to that. <laughs> I promise to work with you knowing that together we can build a life far more better than either of us could, could, could imagine alone. I promise to always be by your side through the good and the bad times. Most importantly, my love, I promise to be your forever casa belief. <laughs> <laughs> To the end of time, I am so honored to be called your wife, and I love you. I cannot follow that. No, I have a mic. Yeah. All right. Mona, when we first met, you checked every box I imagined in my partner. Despite being afraid of heights and preferring to go slow, you like adventure just like I do. You value family and friends above all else, and you have the most generous heart. You are everything I could have pl ever planned for a friend, soulmate, and spouse. After three years together, I finally get to call you my wife. As I reflect back on our time together, I'm overwhelmed with gratitude for every special moment that has led us to this very significant one not to mention every special moment being captured on picture and video. <laughs> From our weekend getaways to holiday dinners, my life is constantly made more special because of your presence in it. Today we enter a new chapter, and I know it will be full of more special experiences. Only now it will be as husband and wife. As your husband, I promise to be faithful and supportive and to always make our family's love and happiness my priority. I vow to have patience that love demands, to speak when words are needed, and to share in the silence when they are not. I will be yours in plenty and in want, in sickness and in health, in failure and in triumph. I will dream with you, celebrate with you, and walk beside you through whatever lives may bring. I give you my hand and my heart as a sanctuary of warmth and peace. I pledge my love, devotion, faith, honor, as I join my life to yours. You are my person, my love, and my life, today and always. I thank God that I'm yours and you are mine. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, we, we give God a praise. Uh, uh, at this point of time, uh, I believe you are both of you should, uh, Brother Nathan, you have a token of appreciation that you want to give to Sis Mona. You do? 
Where's the best man? Oh. <laughs> That's the ring of Pastor Father Savage will be praying for the ring. Let us pray. Bless, O oh Lord, these rings that as groomed and wife, and as they wear them, they may abide in your peace and presence always, and continue in your favor until their life's end. Through Jesus Christ, O oh Lord. Amen. When are you going to be going first and you're going to repeat after me? Later, you go first. Where? Yes. And you repeat after me, please. With this ring, with this ring, I do word, I do word, in the name of the Father, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Son, and of the blessed Holy Spirit, and the blessed Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. When are you going to repeat after me? With this ring, with this ring, I de wed, I de wear, in the name of the Father, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> At this time, we will be doing the lighting of the unity candle, and uh, we ask that uh, the uh, bridal party, please, uh, bride, please dress a little bit as Brother Nathan and Sis Moonan light the unity candle. Uh, the Mayor of Honor, can you please help her with the, uh, with it? I still light the candle. We pray that uh, this will continue on as a symbol within their relationship, within their love, that this will be a bright light. God bless. Amen. Let us put our hands together for Jesus. For the Bible let us to know those who God has joined, like no man put asunder. Hallelujah. Amen. So we want to bless God this evening. We want to give God the praise and the honor. At this time, we about to do their pronouncement. Brother Nathan Rabbis and Six Munamu has consent together in Holy Wagland and have witnessed the same before God and this congregation and in so doing have given and pledged the vow to each other and have declared the same by giving and receiving of the ring. I pronounce them man and wife together. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. At this time, we'll be praying for them.
This is wonderful. We're going to pray, say a prayer to bless the marriage. Let us pray. O God, who has so consecrated the state of marriage that in it is represented the spiritual marriage and unity between Christ and his church. Look mercifully, mercifully upon these your cherished servants, Mona and Nathan. May they love, honor, and cherish each other and so live together in faithfulness and patience in wisdom and true godliness that their home may be a haven of blessing and of peace. We pray this through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, world without end. Amen. 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 Mr. Ramos, are you ready? <laughs> At this time, may you kiss your wife. gentlemen, boys and girls, old and young, for the very first time in the state of New Jersey, and I'm presenting to you, Mr. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> by the power vested in us, Father Savage, Pastor Tubati, and now I'm present to you for the very first time in the state of New Jersey, Mr. and Mrs. Nathan Roberts. So at this time, we will go with the polka. We allow all to stand. The brother part are going to take a reset, and we will further uh, calling to the. In, I mean, calling in order. The uh, brother part are going. The uh, family going to father, and then they are clergy. So again, uh, again, we want to bless God for each and every one of you. Uh, God bless you. Um, we love you. He is giving me victory. Days of my life, I praise you. Everything that I have now, you gave to me, Baba. Lord, I say for your love, I'm great. Oh, yes, you love me plenty. You came to die for me, Jehovah Rapha, Jehovah Nisi. I am there. Oh, I search around. There's no one else like you. I love Judah. Judah made a man of mine. Because of Jesus, every day that I got out of it, double, double, 
Heavenly blessing, I him I they receive. Ah, yeah. God, in your grace and mercy, is always the follow me. Yeah. He has given me victory. He has given me victory. God has given me victory. God has given me victory. He has given me victory. He has given me victory. Thank you. Uh, we got her. She's ours and we're keeping her. <laughs> yeah, after all this preparation, we thank God. Today is a great day. And if you know this song from Sierra Leone, let us sing Tell I'm Tenki. So sing with me. Tell I'm Tenki. Tell I'm. Tell Papa God. Tell we tell and thank you, tell and thank you, tell and tell Papa God, tell you, what he need do, what he need do for we, we go tell, thank you, what he do. Tell Papa God thank you. What a beautiful day it's been. Yes. Really, really beautiful. We've got a beautiful bride, we've got a handsome groom, and we've got blessed people around, so we just need to thank God so we can keep this moving. And thank you for the food, for the hors d'oeuvres. That was great. We're not even hungry right now. So we can wait for all the speeches, so let us pray. Our gracious God, we are grateful. It's a time of giving thanks, and we are grateful. Thank you for what you've done for us today. Thank you for making us happy. Thank you for making those two happy. We saw it in their eyes. They were happy. And God, we can only join them as we say, have your own way in their lives. Bless them, Lord. We're going to go into reception now, and we open this thing now to you, and we say, make your presence be felt. Come down and be with us as we go through each of the activities for tonight so that we can continue to have a great time. We bless you, Lord. Thank you for this time. Thank you for everybody that is here. And take us all back to our respective homes. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, Ms. King, for their powerful wall of prayer. Maybe, oh my, maybe stop preaching now, sir. Yeah. Hey, I can so. All right, ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado, it's time. It's time we ask that you please, everyone, please rise to your feet. Please stand up. And be mindful, stay in front of your seat and get excited as the bridal party. We're going to introduce them and be looking for our cues because we're going to have something, a nice treat for you all tonight. And so be looking to us to guide you through that's the night. That's right. That's right. You have a captain and a co-captain here, a co-pilot. <laughs> Right? So stay with us. We will steer this ship to the end. Okay. Got it. And so first, we will have the godparents come in. Miss Regina and Mr. Daniel Lantley. Let's welcome them. All right, all right, all right. Ladies and gentlemen, before we call the next parent, a little housekeeping. I know some of y'all brought your cell phone in. Hmm? Y'all want to be photographer, videographer, all the thing in. The people now pay the professional to do their thing. Y'all hear me? So as the people that come in here, I know you don't want to experience the moment. You want to capture it. No. That's they right. get professional in here. They get the pay to capture the moment. That's right. Y'all hear me? All right. Housekeeping finished. 
Next up, let's welcome Mr. Moore and Miss Elizabeth Moore. One second yes. before you go. wait, my people, listen. In the bridal party, the people get Nigerian, they get Liberian, <laughs> they get Sierra Leone, they get Ghanaian, they get somebody from Jamaica and Vietnam. They, Don't forget Vietnam. They get somebody from Vietnam. You know the boy like I said, put right here. Yeah, yeah. Y'all sorry, no, no. But y'all wait. We come and see who can better show the African culture yet. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Go ahead, Claire. All right, we're gonna have Miss Corva and Mr. Toby. Everybody, any Let's welcome Miss Lapu Stevens and Will Owens! I want to flex my 
When the dancing over yet? Yeah. Okay. I feel like telling the other one in right here. <laughs> right here. Front center. Yes. They must show that thing. That's it. You yeah, agree? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Right where? Yeah. That's right. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, without any further delay, let's welcome Ida and Phil. Highly spread, spread. Money, 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 money
are the best man. There are no favorites. He loved them all so equally. They all got the title of best man. So now we're going to have the maid of honor, Miss Aster and Mr. Andrew. Because y'all don't understand, there's a new fragrance in town. Did y'all hear what I said? There is a new fragrance in town. Those of you that like to carry the news, this is the news you must carry. Those of you that want to gossip, this is the news you must carry. There is a what? A new fragrance in town. It's called what? Moon and Satan, what? What is the fragrance called? Hey! Carry the news. DJ! Check your what thing? Every little thing you did do to me. You sweet to me for a body. She a lovely fee for a dummy. Wow, 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 wow. Get your boy, let me go crazy. I'm gonna see you show for me. Tell me, can we draw money? I'm a 
Jackie. You know, see, I'm falling, I'm falling, falling, falling. Overdose me, love you, overdose me. And you, and you want to be in love, you want to go for the love. Overdose I'll be overdose Come on, I can't. Left to die another day for you, baby. Yeah. Quit my casting over ways for you, baby. Yeah. The only time that you say that you hate me is when I take the last night of pastry. I'm on my run, 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 run. Loving you till kingdom come. But you drive me crazy, send someone still my good baby. Mother, baby, I'm gonna be like Pami. I just wanna be your baby. Like baby. Oh, God. If you put your body on me, I put my money on you. I put it down on you, girl. If you put your body on me, I put my money on you. I put my girl on you, girl. Oh, girl, you look so amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, I beg y'all, y'all wear smart. This moment is for Mr. and Mistress Robert Ole!
for Mr. and Mrs. Nathan Roberts! everybody Woo! I know what you see when you look at me as we walk down the aisle little pink tutu bows and tennis shoes and the white eyes of your child Yes, 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 yes. Thank you, thank you. But they say, not fini ye. Well, one more. Daddy and daughter are gonna have a second dance. This one, that first one was cute, elegant, but now we about to get home style, home style. <laughs> if y'all remember last night, I'm proud of a fun. Nobody I can dance past our pride. Il n'est jamais trop tard pour bien faire. La seule condition, la persévérance. Écoutez cette histoire. Yes, let's give them a round of applause. 
me fair, me love me for me for you, me for me for you, me for you, me for me for you, me me love me for you, me for me for you, me for me me for me for you, me 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 for you, me for me you, me for me me for me for you, me 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 for you, me 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 for you, me 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 for you, you, Attendance of God's goodness, amen. It's our baby sister, and we just want to just thank God for the rose that you have blossomed into. We thank God so much for how far he has brought you. You know, with her being our baby sister, she likes to be like the boss. We all have our chances of being boss, but she has up, she has done it most, okay? <laughs> She wants to run everything. Always. But that's just how she is. She wants to make sure that everything is in order. She wants to make sure that everything is right. And that's how mom raised us. So we just want to thank you to the family, the Roberts. We say thank you so much for just coming into her life at the right moment. And when you came, to be honest, when she started dating him. She's very, very, she's an introvert when she wants to be. She's very private. And when she first started to talk to him, she didn't want anybody to know it was a secret. <laughs> so she time. was very, very precise on what she revealed and what you know, any one of us would notice. But one thing we'd, I know for a fact was the fact that every Saturday, oh. <laughs> she would want to cook something. <laughs> I think that's when you know. She will call me this and say, you know, I want us to have some, and Saturday breakfast. Yeah. I will do all the cooking. And you know something. <laughs> and you know something is inside that cooking somewhere. Eh? <laughs> Timmy, that first day she called us, what, you said, oh, what happened yes, sir? Yeah, we ate good food. We ate good food. Oh, yes, of course. If one thing you know about this family, we know how to eat. Oh, yeah, we do. <laughs> we are not a salad eating kind of family, OK? Oh, no. <laughs> but Nathan, um, we just want to say <laughs> how grateful we are. Yes. Mona, like Malika said, is our baby with three of us, first, second, yes. and third. We are so blessed. Oh, yeah. And you coming in as another brother. Oh, my goodness. Mom is blessed to have a son. Yes. And we are blessed to have a brother. Indeed. And Mona, you're going just next door for me. Don't go too far. Okay? We love you. We love you. We love you. We bless God for you, and we pray that everything your heart desires will come through. Amen. 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 Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Glory be to God for bringing us together for such a wonderful occasion. Nathan and Mona, congratulations. I wish you nothing but the best. Nathan and Mona, I have watched your relationship grow into this day. And to, and to see you two sitting here in this moment is truly amazing. To Nathan, you have grown up to be an honorable man and have always had the right sense, the right decisions. I clearly see why you chose to spend the rest of your life with Mona. 
Mona has shown me that, is she, that she is not only for Nathan, but she is also attentive to one of the most important things in Nathan's life, which is family. Mona has not only loved Nathan in this journey, but has loved his family. She has shown us love, kindness, concern, and grace. But, Mona, you missed the time. I have a story. In the beginning of their relationship, Nathan and I, this is when Nathan and I, we were still living at home. And even um, Andrew had came from Georgia for a visit. So Nathan had told um, Andrew and I that Mona's coming and she's bringing fried fish. So I'm like, cool. Now I'm excited about this fried fish because I love fried fish. So I'm upstairs and I hear them downstairs in the kitchen. So I come downstairs, I go into the kitchen, I can smell the fried fish, but I don't see the fish. So I, Nathan, he's sitting at the table with a big pan of rice and fried fish. So guess who the fish was for? I drank pepper soup that night. <laughs> All jokes aside, this is very telling on how Mona cares and loves for Nathan. Through her acts of kindness for Nathan and his family. And mind you, Mona has fed me on other occasions as well. But Mona, I'm still waiting for my fried fish. Again, Mona and Nathan, congratulations. And I wish you nothing but the best. And know that we all love you and you have our support. Always. Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us here to celebrate Mona and Nate. Mona and I um, met at work, Comcast, and one of our mutual friends introduced us to um, saying that we two would make good friends. I was open to having new friends, and I was like, okay, cool. But Mona was like, mm-mm. I was like, I'm cool, I'm fun. Why would somebody not want to be friends with me? I tried hard. Um, you know, try to get close to her, but she didn't make it easy for me. But I was like, okay, I'm up for a challenge. And here I am, a few years later, the maid of honor. As we started to spend more time, I got to know Mona on more, per more personal level. And what I have to say about Mona is such a kind person, so genuine. Um, a person of character, values, and faith. Um, I really appreciate one of her characteristics, um, that she really gets happy for other people when she sees them grow. And that is something uh, that is very rare to find these days. Um, Mona and I used to take train rides together from work to home. And on those train rides, we used to talk about almost um, all kinds of, well, mostly about guys. Um, <laughs> and uh, one day, one day Mona got a match. Guess who? That guy sitting right there. Um, Mona used to talk nonstop about Nate. Um, but all the good stuff. And when I met Nate for the first time, everything Mona had said, that was also true. Nate, you're such a gentleman, so caring, and your love is so obvious. When you look at her, the way you care for her, um, it can all be seen. And uh, Mona is so lucky to, to have you, and so are you. Um, I, last time Nate, I and Mona were hanging out, I told Nate, Mona is moving with you, you know, after you guys get married, we're 10 minutes away. You better, you and I better become friends because you're gonna see me more often and I would not want you to just put up with me. I am so looking forward to it. It's gonna be a good summer. 
Um, as far as you two are concerned, um, you two are a beautiful couple. And you two make me believe a little bit more in love and the goodness of God, of course. And there's no doubt, I do no doubt that you both are going to have a wonderful life together. And I wish you all peace, joy, and abundance in life that is about, about ahead of you guys. And I cannot wait for you guys to build your home, your heaven. Thank you. How's everybody doing? Wow. Y'all came for a wedding? How is everybody doing? You know, there's a lot I can say, but I'm just going to go off of what Ida just said. Literally, sis, we were waiting for that fish. We were waiting for that fish, okay? For a long time. But there's a lot I can say about my brother. If you guys give me a second. Should I begin? All jokes aside. I love you. As I stand here today and see my little brother with his new wife, Mona, I can clearly see that my brother is the true winner here. Seriously. <laughs> Mona, it's been a pleasure getting to know you and your kind and warm spirit. One of the greatest blessings that God could have granted my brother and our family. As I take a walk down memory lane, I can vividly remember all the WWE fighting that me and my brother had. Some would say it might have been some bullying here and there, but I like to call it character development. <laughs> but anyway, my brother had to one up me every single time on a Saturday and Sunday where we had to rewatch those Ninja Turtle movies. Every single time, you remember that. <laughs> As we've grown older, I've watched, my, I've watched you become your own man, a true embodiment of the name Nathan. You're true, you truly are a gift from God. Fast forward to today, my brother now becoming a husband joined by his lovely bride. I couldn't be more proud of you. And I mean that. I love you with, with these few words. I'm gonna leave you with these few words as you embark in your new journey of marriage. It's important to know that you now are becoming a union. The Bible teaches us Marriage is a union. Marriage is a union of mind, body, and spirit, a reflection of God's perfect love. Nathan, take, take care of Mona. Mona, take care of Nathan. I wish you both nothing but God's greatest blessings as you begin your, your new lives as men and wives. Now, ladies and gentlemen, A toast to Mr. and Mrs. Roberts.
Danny bro, Danny bro, Danny bro, Danny bro. You don't want to find my trouble. Enter bathroom, fence your chin. I mean, you come through when you're at break. At break, push she shit at break. Now, me, they buy dinner for your man, then. Enter bathroom, fence your chin. I want to flex my love. And I want to carry my love away to a place she loves. I'm a me, mom. Enter bathroom, fresh up. 